السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته تبارك الله عليك سيد الرئيس المجلس النواب المغربي تبارك الله على الجلالات الملك محمد السديس نصره الله تبارك الله على الشعبين المغربي ولا إسرائيلي تبارك الله عليكم وشكرا جزيلا لكم سهرة مغربية أنا فرحان بزاف هذا اليوم في المغرب ديالنا هذا نهار كبير I'm very happy today in your in our Morocco this is a great day Let me thank God Almighty that brought us to this day and I will say it in Hebrew with your permission ברוך אתה אדוני אלוהינו מלך העולם שהחיינו וקיימנו והגיענו לזמן הזה. I would like to first thank our host, the honorable president of the House of Representatives of Morocco, Mr. Rashid Talbi Al-Alami, for his gracious invitation to Morocco and to the Moroccan Parliament the first of its kind in Israel's history to any Muslim state parliament. I would like to convey special thanks to His Majesty, King Mohammed VI, for his embracive, forward-looking leadership, for his vision of peace, for his groundbreaking and innovative thinking, and wish him from here that God will continue to watch over him and his family Thanks to His Majesty's forward-looking leadership, I was fortunate enough to be one of the Israeli government ministers to sign the Abraham Accords that are now taking shape within Morocco. His Majesty's significant role as president of Al Quds Committee and the trust he gains from all sides gives him not only the deep understanding of the area and the challenges that we are all facing, but also the right position to be able to mediate between the State of Israel and the Palestinian Authority towards peace, which we all wish to see with our own eyes in our lifetime. Thanks to His Majesty's groundbreaking and innovative thinking, the vision of peace became closer, and with it, the prosperity of Moroccans and Israelis alike. But the Abraham Accords and its fulfillment, even through this very visit, also tells us that peace between more countries in the region is closer than ever. As I arrived to this lovely building, through Avenue King Mohammed Al Khamis, I remembered his words that echo in the historical memory of our nations shortly after the establishment of the State of Israel that just celebrated 75 years of independence. The Jews have lived on the blessed Maghreb land for thousands of years, even before the arrival of Islam. They lived among us in an honorable and esteemed manner and for their work on behalf of Morocco, they will always remain close to my heart. Even if they move to distant countries, the Jews of Morocco will continue to be Moroccan subjects and we must protect them even when they are far from us. We will accompany them as they embark on their new path with much respect and with many concerns. So said His Majesty, King Muhammad V. The king always protected the Jews of the kingdom, but in particular, he protected them from the clutches of the Nazi oppressor 
during World War II. And for that, the Jewish people will for, forever be grateful for him, to him. As a descendant of this blessed land, I am fully aware of the importance of the recognition over the Moroccan Sahara. It is not only me. I believe that history says so. I have said before, and I say now as Speaker of the Knesset very clearly, Israel should move towards that goal of recognizing Moroccan Sahara just just as our closest ally, the United States of America did as it signed the historical Abraham Accords. I support it and push towards that goal. I can tell you that there are currently serious discussions between our governments on the matter, and I believe that Prime Minister Netanyahu will be announcing his decision in the near future. In the meantime, there is much to do in order to upgrade the Morocco-Israel bond, mutually open a full-scale embassy, deepen and strengthen their cooperation at all levels and fields, agriculture, tourism, security, water preservation and desalination, employment, and many, many more. This historic parliamentary visit and the signing of the Memorandum of Understanding, which you have all witnessed between parliaments, will pave the way to all of this and more, inshallah. And I will always cherish it in my memory. To mark this occasion, I will present the world's smallest Quran produced by nanotechnology to my Moroccan counterpart, President El Alami, a symbol, please, Hanan, a symbol of the connection between the past and the future. Allow me to just present it to you. This small square right there, it is the smallest Quran in the world. And I present it to you, Mr. President. Yes. It symbolizes the connection between the past and the future, history and progress. This gesture exemplifies our respect for tradition and heritage while embracing the possibilities of innovation. Innovative technology characterizes the state of Israel and the strengthening of the relations between our countries will open new horizons for both nations. Today, we declare a new era in the relations between the State of Israel and the Kingdom of Morocco. Thank you, President El Alami. God bless you. God bless the King. And God bless the people of Morocco and the people of Israel. Thank you very much. Thank you.